Madam Speaker, it's a well-known fact around the globe that this Liberal government has spent the most money on its pandemic response and achieved the least. They printed money and irresponsibly distributed, such as to prisoners. They sent millions to help wealthy corporations that were profitable during the pandemic and simply used those funds to pay dividends to their shareholders. They paid Chinese state-owned companies while small businesses and communities from coast to coast to coast struggled to get their well-deserved support. At the same time, while free cash flows left and right, this Liberal government is delaying many important projects due to a lack of funding. Gaiwenio Gawenio School is a federally funded elementary and secondary school with 145 students located in my riding on Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. For over 30 years, this school has provided instructions to its students in Mohawk and Cayuga until the eighth grade when English is introduced. They are in urgent need of funding for a new school. Indigenous Services Canada has reviewed and supported the design brief for the new school on the Six Nations of the Grand River. They've confirmed that they consider this phase of the process complete. In fact, as he then was, Minister Miller uh, attended during the 43rd Parliament, my apologies, the then Minister of Indigenous Services attended my riding, was toured the particular location and uh, agreed that the funding uh, had to be uh, made available for the completion of the new school. However, to this date, uh, Madam Speaker, they still have not provided funding to actually build that school. The construction of the school is shovel ready and should be funded. At a time when we see billions of dollars being irresponsibly spent, this Prime Minister and his government have turned a deaf ear to a request from the largest First Nations Reserve in Canada. It's time they had one. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, by delivering significant fiscal policy support to Canadians during the pandemic and avoiding harmful austerity policies, we have seen a rapid and resilient recovery so far. In short, our government's economic plan is working. Canada has exceeded its goal in creating a million jobs well ahead of schedule and expectations. In fact, Canada's job recovery is amongst the strongest in the G7. And as of December, Canada has recouped 108% of the jobs lost in the depths of the pandemic compared to just 84% of the United States. In addition, just yesterday, data released outlined that as of November, Canada's GDP has now recouped all of its pandemic losses and surpassed its pre-pandemic level. We will continue to do whatever it takes to ensure Canada's economic recovery leaves no one behind. And we will do this by focusing on jobs, growth, and by making life more affordable for Canadians. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I look forward to working with that member uh, to deliver affordability for all Canadians.